first station Jesus is condemned to death We adore you O Christ and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world It was early Friday morning when I saw my son That was the first glimpse I had of him since they took him away His bruised and bleeding skin sent a sort of pain deep into my heart and tears down my cheeks Then Pilate from his chair of judgment asked the crowd Then what do you wish me to do with the man you call the king of the Jews All around me they shouted Crucify him I wanted to plead with them to stop but I knew this had to be so I stood by and cried silently Lord Jesus it is hard for me to imagine the anguish your mother felt at your condemnation but what about today when I hold a grudge crucify him when I judge others crucify him doesn't this bring tears of anguish to both you and your mother forgive me jesus
second station jesus carries his cross we adore you o christ and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world regaining a little strength i walked with the crowds to the entrance of the square a door flew open and my son stumbled out the guards laughing behind him two men dragged over a heavy wooden cross and dropped it on his shoulders then they showed him down the road my pain for him was unbearable i wanted to take the cross from him and carry it myself but i knew this had to be so i walked on silently lord jesus i beg you to forgive me for the many times i have added more weight to your cross by closing my eyes to the pain and loneliness of my neighbors forgive me for gossiping gossiping about others and for always trying to find excuses to avoid certain people who wish to talk with me help me like mary always seeking to lighten the crosses of others forgive me jesus third station jesus falls the first time we adore you o christ and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world i followed close behind my son as he stumbled toward calvary nothing had ever hurt me more than to see him in such pain 
I saw the cross digging into his shoulders. My heart dropped when I saw him fall, his face hitting the ground with a heavy cross landing squarely on his back. For a moment I thought my son was dead. Now my whole body began to tremble. Then the guards kicked him. I wanted to protect him with my own body, but I knew this had to be, so I walked on and wept silently. Lord, how often have I seen you fall and unlike Mary, have left you without concern. How often have I seen people make mistakes and laugh at them. How often do I find myself getting angry when someone does things differently than I? Mary offered you her support through your entire passion. Help me to do the same for you by the support I give to others. Lord, have mercy on me. Fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, o Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. I had managed to break through the crowd and was walking side by side with my son. I called to him through the shouting voices. He stopped. Our eyes met, mine full of tears of anguish, his full of pain and confusion. I felt helpless, then his eyes said to me, Courage, there is a purpose for this. As he stumbled on, I knew he was right, so I followed and prayed silently. Lord Jesus, Forgive me for the many times our eyes met and I turned mine away. Forgive me for the times things did not go my own way and I let everyone know about it. Forgive me for the times I brooded over little inconveniences or became discouraged and did not heed your call to courage. Yes, Lord, our eyes have met many times but fruitlessly.
fifth station, Jesus is helped by Simon of Cyrene to carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. I could now see almost complete helplessness on the face of my son as he tried to carry his heavy load. Each step looked as if it would be his last. I felt his every pain in my heart and I wanted the whole thing to end. Then I noticed some commotion near him. The guards had pulled a protesting man from the crowd and forced him to pick up the back of the cross to help lighten my son's load. He asked the guards why this had to be. I knew and so I followed silently. Lord Jesus, give us hearts full of love to pick up and carry the crosses of others. Let us not be blind to the pain with which some people live, but let us pick up their crosses and carry them with the joyful knowledge that in doing so, we carry it for Christ. Amen. Calva 
for you and me down the via dolorosa all the way to Calvary Sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. As I continued close by Jesus, a woman pushed past the guards, took off her veil, began to wipe my son's sweating bloody face. The guards immediately pulled her back. Her face seemed to say, why are you doing this to him? I knew, so I walked on in faith, silently. Lord, this woman gave you the best she could. On the other hand, I have wanted to take more than I give. So many opportunities arise every day for me to give it to you by giving to others, but I pass them by. My Savior, never let me ask why again, but help me to give all I have to you.
seventh station jesus falls for the second time we adore you o christ and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world again my son fell and again my grief was overwhelming at the thought that he might die i started to move toward him but the soldiers prevented me he rose and stumbled ahead slowly seeing my son fall get up again and continue was bitter anguish to me but since i knew this had to be i walked on silently lord of all people mary was your most faithful follower never stopping despite all the pain she felt for you i have many times turned away from you by my sins and have caused others to turn away from you i beg you to have mercy on me eighth station jesus speaks to the women of jerusalem we adore you o christ and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world i was walking a few steps behind jesus when i saw him stop some women there were crying for him and pitying him He told them not shed tears for him. They had the opportunity to accept him as the Messiah. Like many others, they rejected him instead. He turned to them and said, "Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and your children." They did not see the connection between that and his walk to death. I did and as he walked on I followed silently My savior many times have I acted like these women always seeing the faults in others and pitying them Yet very rarely have I seen my own sinfulness and asked your pardon Lord you have taught me through these women Forgive me Lord for my blindness
ninth station Jesus falls for the third time we adore you Christ and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world this fall of my son was agony to me not only had he fallen on the rocky ground again but now he was almost at the top of the hill of crucifixion the soldiers screamed at him and abused him almost dragging him the last few steps my heart pounded as i imagined what they would do to him next but i knew this had to be so i climbed the hill silently behind him my loving jesus i know that many times i have offered my hand to help people but when it became inconvenient or painful to me i left them making excuses for myself help me o oh lord to be like your mother mary and never take my supporting hand away from those who need it
tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his garment. We adore you, o Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. With my son finally relieved of the weight of the cross, I thought that he would have a chance to rest. But the guards immediately started to rip off his clothes, off his blood clotted skin. The sight of my son in such pain was unbearable. Yet since I knew this had to be, I stood by and cried silently. Lord, we return to you now with all our hearts, stripped of your dignity and humiliated on your way of the cross. You assure us that we will never lose your love. May the garment of our baptism never be stripped from us by arrogance, indifference to you or selfishness. Eleventh the station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. As they threw Jesus on the cross, he willingly allowed himself to be nailed. As they punctured his hands and his feet, I felt the pain 
in my heart. Then they lifted the cross. There he was, my son, whom I love so much, being scorned as he struggled for the last few moments of earthly life. But I knew this had to be, so I stood by and prayed silently. Lord, what pain you endured for me and what pain your mother went through seeing her only son die for me. Yet you are ready to forgive me as soon as I repent of my sin. Help me, O Lord, to turn away from my sinfulness.
Twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. What greater pain is there for a mother than to see her son die right before her eyes? I, who had brought the Savior into the world and watched him grow, stood helplessly beneath his cross as he lowered his head and died. His earthly anguish was finished, but mine was greater than ever. Yet this had to be, and I had to accept it. So I stood by and I mourned silently. My Jesus, have mercy on me for what my sins have done to you and others. I thank you for your great act of love. You have said that true love is laying down your life for your friends. Let me always be your friend. Teach me to live my life for others and not fail you again.
13th station Jesus is taken down from the cross and laid in Mary's arms We adore you O Christ and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world The crowd had gone the noise had stopped I stood quietly with one of Jesus's friends and looked up at the dead body of our savior my son then two men took the dead body down from the cross and placed it in my arms a deep sorrow engulfed my being yet i also felt a deep joy life had ended cruelly for my son but it it had also brought life to all of us i knew this had to be we ask you mary to hold us as you held your dear son when he was taken down from the cross with the same tenderness and love pray for us and lead us to greater intimacy with jesus we pray this through christ our lord amen Fourteenth station. Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. 
we brought Jesus' body to a tomb and I arranged it there myself. Silently weeping, silently rejoicing. I took one more look at my loving son and then walked out. They closed the tomb. Before I left, I thought, I knew this had to be, it had to be for you. I would wait in faith. Yes, my Lord, this had to be because you love me and for no other reason. All you ask is that I live a good life. You never said such a life would be easy. I am willing to leave sin behind and live for you, my Jesus.
We hope Via Dolorosa was a beautiful, uplifting, prayerful experience for all of you. And that was our hope. And we want to thank Samanda, our music director, for the amazing job. Samanda, of course we know, worked closely and learned a lot from Jeremiah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A very special word of thanks to all our musicians and singers here who gave so much of their time and they, they helped us to enter into this beautiful moment of, of prayer helping us to experience what Mary experienced, helping us to feel a share of what Jesus went through for us. So, a big thanks to all of you for helping us tonight. Great job. And thank you all for joining us tonight and thank you for your love that you show your love for our St. Gillian community. Thank you for supporting our music ministry and always here encouraging our music ministry. And one of the ways you can continue to support our music ministry is when you're exiting the church. We do have the donation basket there, you know, <laughs> and make sure you don't exit that way because we don't have any basket there. Um, we probably should lock those churches, those, those doors there, so everyone exits this way. Um, I'm just kidding. Um, no, I'm serious. <laughs> uh, well, thank you. You make St. Gillian Church such a beautiful, vibrant community, and it's a joy being here with you, serving you, and everybody here, our different ministries, coming together and serving the Lord, leading us closer to the Lord, is what makes St. Killian, St. Killian so special. Remember, we enter in the Holy Week. Um, this coming Sunday is Palm Sunday, leading us to Holy Week services. I hope all of you will come for all the Holy Week services that we have. So thank you once again. God bless you, and may the Lord continue to lead you. Amen? Amen.